Like perfect flick aiming is aimbot and perfect smooth aiming is wall hacks. What's going on everyone, it's Twist here, welcome back to another video. So today it's gonna be the second of installment of Critical Classroom. Uh, you guys actually really supported the first one, I mean it maybe didn't get as much views as I would usually get, but all the comments were extremely positive and it just felt great that I'm actually like helping you guys with something rather than just, oh my god I hit cool clip in rank. So if you want to help me, you know, like, like this video like, uh, like you did last one. And yeah, let's just get into it, I guess. Um, today's video is going to be on aiming. And again, this is a video for kind of the middle level players. It's not like the tips I'm going to give is not for complete noobs who just like install the game. But it's also not like the highest, highest level tips because I want to like go through everything that's kind of in the intermediate level. And then, uh, you know, if you guys keep supporting the series, leave a like, um, then I'll, I'll go on to like more the advanced tips. Alright, so similar to my last video, I'm gonna kind of go over the more basic things first, and then we're gonna move on to kind of the more advanced stuff, I guess. So number one um, for good aim is choosing your sensitivity. Uh, just go in a game and see how much you can flick, basically the max amount of the thumb, like the max amount of thumb that you can flick, how much that is in game. For me, I have a very, very low sensitivity. My sensitivity is actually, I think, one of the lowest in the game for players. Like I have no aim acceleration and like 3x. So when I flick, when I do like the biggest flick that I can with my thumb, I can only turn 90 degrees. So for me to do 180, I have to like basically do this. See how I'm basically like double flicking. So basically you need to choose sensitivity where with one full thumb flick, you can flick somewhere between 90 to 360 degrees. Anything below 90, you will literally have to flick three times to do 180. So if it was like, I don't know, 60 degrees, you'd have to flick 60, full 60, full 60, full 60. That is just too little, like you sometimes just need to turn around more quickly. And anything above 360, I mean, even if I had like a really high sensitivity and I could 360, anything above 360 is not needed because like 360 is, I would even say anything about 180 is not really needed, but I would still suggest like going towards that 360, like just checking out what works, what doesn't work for you. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, maybe some sensitivities uh, will be like the perfect 180 for you. When you flick, you'll do the perfect 180, which is the aim of this. But personally for me, I rather like, I just like the sensitivity more than if I had a higher sense and I could like 180 with one flick. And also you need to figure out if you want to use aim acceleration or not. Personally, I don't use any aim acceleration. What aim acceleration does is basically the higher your aim acceleration, the bigger will be the difference between uh, kind of how much you flick the, uh, based on how fast you flick. So I play with no aim acceleration because now if I flick very slowly, if I do this, or if I flick quickly, um, I still kind of move my thumb the same distance. If I had like aim acceleration enabled, then um, I would just, um, like the distance would would vary depending on how fast I flick. And then there's also the crosshair. Pretty much every good or, you know, pro player in Critical Ops uses a uh, static cross. Let me just show you the crosshair settings first, I guess. They use a static crosshair with hit markers, almost always with hit markers. And normally the crosshair size doesn't exceed like 60. I've tried bigger crosshairs, but they just don't work in long range. And especially like on Critical Ops where, you know, it's just a game where you actually have to focus a lot in, in long range like it just doesn't work out so I use anything between 30 and 60 for my crosshair. Um, normally I play with like 34 uh, but also crosshair kind of varies depending on your device like some crosshairs will look uh, the same crosshair, crosshair will look differently on uh, like tablet or let's say a phone. So yeah, choose a crosshair that's between 30 to 50, 30 to 60, that would be my advice. Oh, and then another basic tip to basically keep your aim headshot level, we're going to discuss this more, but yeah, that, those are, again, those are just the basics, I'm laying them out, maybe someone does not know them. Also, I would really, really suggest not changing your sensitivity, because I used to be one of those guys that would literally change his sensitivity like every other week, and to be honest, it doesn't, like, it, I played with one sens sensitivity for like two weeks, then I switched it, and within a day, I was like back to my level on the old sensitivity like as good as I was on the old one but I'm been, I've been using this sensitivity for like a year almost now and it's honestly made me way better like I don't even play c ups that much nowadays but when I do I'm just way more consistent and I, I I pretty much like know not even in my head I just like know in my muscles you know how much I have to flick to kind of perfectly just go where I want to go all right so now we're going to talk about flick aiming versus smooth aiming this is going to be the biggest subject of this video and after that we're going to touch on pre-aim so, what is flick aiming? 
Flick aiming is basically an aiming style where you play more for flicks. Basically, it allows you to quickly um, flick to opponent's heads. Like, this is flick aiming. Like this, I can't even do it because I'm not a flick aimer, I'm a smooth aimer. But yeah, like see, uh, if I was a good flick aimer, I would just be able to do that. So, you know, as the name implies, it's just flicking, it's just kind of getting the opponents and um, kind of flicking on them quickly. Uh, the advantage of this aiming technique is that if the opponent isn't in your crosshair, let's say he's like here, you're just able to like precisely get on him and shoot him. And um, you can think of this as more of something you would do for more for the breach side, because on the breach side, you kind of have to, you know, entry a site. There could be players in, in many different areas. You know, you just have to be able to do that because otherwise they will take you down. So when you're on the breach side, uh, you would employ flick aiming more, which is just trying to flick on the opponent's heads. So let's say if I entry this area right here, um, I have like, he could be here, here, here. So I have to like quickly be able to flick and get on target. And a good way how to practice this is just to go host a lobby with bots and just go with bots and try to like flick on their heads. Uh, don't go in a team deathmatch, just like practice with bots where you can like, you know, flick on their heads. But this is for practicing flick aiming. Also flick aiming is more seen in those like flashy plays, you know, where players like, oh my god, I get them and then him and then him, you know, like that is basically flick aiming. Flick aiming always looks better on video. It's always like, damn, how is he so quick? Like it looks like aimbot. Flick aiming is basically aimbot if you're good at it. All right, now I'm gonna talk about my personal favorite aiming style, which is smooth aiming. What smooth aiming is, uh, you focus less on flicking and you focus more on kind of pre-aim and I'm gonna go into pre-aim as well. But it's basically, you have the advantage in the time to kill because instead of having to flick all the time, instead of like, let's say you clear this out and instead of having to flick on him, this would be if I was like aiming like this and I flick on him, that would be flick aiming. Instead of that, um, I always try to have my crosshair in the perfect spot where the enemy will be. So that way, like my crosshair is already on him and I only have to click the shoot button and I get the flick and I get the kill. So that's what smooth aiming is about. Smooth aiming is more about like knowing where the enemy will be, trying to predict where the enemy will be and placing your crosshair in a way that basically when the enemy is there, you only have to click the shoot button. Meanwhile, uh, flick aiming is more about kind of relying on your aim more and like relying on the fact that uh, wherever the enemy is, you will be able to kind of flick on him. And smooth aiming is more useful for the um, for the collision side because on the collision side, it's more about like holding angles and just, you know, placing your crosshair in the perfect way in such a manner that when the enemy peaks, um, you know, you'll be able to get him. You have to learn both because as I said, like smooth aiming works better for collision, a flick aiming works better for breach. So you have to learn both to kind of be an overall good player. But still, it's not bad that if you want to focus on only one and want to get good at that one. And a good way how to practice smooth aiming is just pra uh, playing deathmatch. In a deathmatch, you can like learn how to predict where the players will be way better. And like because in deathmatch, the players actually act like real players because they are real players. Um, you will quickly learn how to kind of anticipate where the enemy will be more. And um, yeah, dead matches are just more for practicing smooth aiming. Let's say you're bad on canals. Um, you find a canals team dead match, and you just go around and you try not to flick, but you try to kind of understand where you have to place your crosshair um, to kind of get the frag. And this goes on into um, pre-aim, which is way more important uh, if you're a smooth aimer rather than flick aimer because flick aimers basically they have fast reaction times and they just they have very good kind of muscle memory and they rely on their aim way more as I said but if you're a smooth aimer pre-aim is way more important okay so let me explain pre-aim first so let's say there's a guy right here um, one way how you would uh, kind of approach the situation would be like you would basically go like this and then you know you would shoot him so you're just like going like this you're basically maybe you're even going like this and then like this what pre-aim is, is basically wall hacks. I guess this is a good way how to compare the two. Flick aiming is aimbot. Like perfect flick aiming is aimbot and perfect um, smooth aiming is wall hacks. Because what pre-aim basically is, is like you're, let's say I know that an opponent will be here. So instead of like doing this and then like kind of having to either flick or just be unprepared, you know, I still have to move my crosshair. I can literally like... If I know that a guy is here and I have good pre-aim, I can literally lift my hand up and I move and see, like, I don't even have to aim because right at the moment when I peek, my crosshair, crosshair is already there. So I don't even have to, like, engage my kind of, you know, my look around hand. I don't have to, like, engage in that. I can just kind of place my crosshair before I peek and then I don't even have to, like, flick. I don't even have to do anything. I just pretty much, again, see, like, I want to, I wanna, let's say, I want to clear that. 
what a flick aimer would do, he would like go like this and then, oh, there's a guy like there, he flicks. What I would do is I just know that this is kind of the angle that I have to hold. Here's my hand and I just, okay, well, I was a bit off. Okay, so let's just do it like this. So, um, see, I just know and I peek like this. And all I have to do in this situation is only click the shoot button. I don't have to actually like flick at all. I'm just um, on point there. The problem with pre-aim is that sometimes, let's say, let's say I'm like pre-aiming, I'm like pre-aiming this, right? So I would go like this. The problem is that at this moment, if someone peeks me here, if he pushes me and peeks me, I have to flick. So that's one disadvantage of pre-aim. But I just like pre-aiming way more because that way I just, I only have to click the shoot button and I don't really rely that much on my kind of finger skills, you know, to kind of flick. So it's easier for me to just like pre-aim, like pre-aim like this. Oh, and I don't even have to correct my crosshair. I'm already there. I can literally lift my one of my hands up and just click the shoot button. Also, flick aiming is a bit easier if you're a new player to the game. And good pre-aim uh, comes with comes just with experience. One way to train um, pre-aim is just kind of go around the maps. Maybe just host the map uh, yourself and kind of get the feel uh, like where. Like, so basically, like, I know in my head where the angle kind of is here, you know, like, I just know that the angle is here, and I don't even have, like, it's just in my head, kind of ingrained, so I can just have a, like, if I want to, if I know that someone is there, I can just go like this, and I just kind of know where the angle is. But for the newer players who don't maybe know the map layouts that well, it will be harder for them to pre-aim, because they just don't know kind of where the stuff behind, um, you know, just where the st where stuff is. So one way to practice pre-aim is just host an empty lobby and go around the map and kind of try to try to just pre-aim like empty angles. Like just go around the map. Let's say you want to pre-aim this one. Like try to see. Like try to kind of understand where you would have to kind of where the thing is behind the wall because that is what uh, that's basically what pre-aim is about. It's about seeing players through the walls. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys understood something um, and actually got something out of this. Um, it is like 30 plus degrees outside, so I am literally sweating so hard right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys learned something today. Um, try to implement these things in your practice. Try to figure out if you're, like, if you lack skill more at pre-aiming or at flick aiming. Because even though I prefer smooth aiming, or smooth slash pre-aiming, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, even though I prefer it, I still need to like be good at flicking because you need both to be a complete player. So try to figure out like which one you actually lack more. And then when you figure out which one you actually lack more, um, you can try to you know improve it and that way you'll become a better all-around player. Um, because normally, in, especially in critical ops, like if you suck at one thing and you actually work on it, you become way better overall just because that one thing is really dragging you down. So hopefully this video kind of gives you an answer on what you kind of need to focus on at times uh, in aiming. And I didn't even touch on recoil control, but I guess I'll just make a different video for that because, yeah, recoil control, it's not like... It, it, it's very easy to explain, but if I want to go in depth on recoil, um, that'll take like 10 minutes at least. Anyways, guys, again, leave a like. See, see, go here and then click like. And uh, yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.